If you are in the market for a hitch mounted cargo basket, this video is for you. Today, I'm talking all about pack mule. I'm going through the specs, my experience with my pack mule, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of whether something like this is the right fit for you. So let's jump right into it. So I've had my pack mule for about a month and a half. I'm here in South Florida. It's turkey season, baby. And I actually just recently killed an Osceola turkey, which was awesome. I butchered that turkey right on top of my pack mule. And that's something for me as a hunter, an angler, it's important for me to have a space that can get dirty. I have a van, like I don't, when I kill a deer, I don't wanna throw a deer inside my van but the pack mule gives me this automatic extra cargo space where I can put a deer, where I can put my stinky waders, where I can put a cooler that might leak at some point. You know what I'm saying? Like firewood, anything that you don't wanna actually dirty up the inside of your van, your Jeep, your SUV, you can put that on your pack mule. I've put close to a thousand miles on this, both highway and back sandy crazy florida roads all combined and it's held up great and i have so many more adventures planned for this fall it just functions really well and it's really easy to use they have this really cool anti-wobble patented technology it's the way that the basket actually attaches into your hitch so you've got an aluminum shaft that goes into a threaded receiver you hand thread it and then use a wrench to tighten it down and there's something in the way that they manufacture that that keeps this bad boy sturdy another feature that i really like is you can lock your pack mule onto your hitch with a key. It's already built into the system that you use to install your pack mule. And that just gives you peace of mind because this is a more expensive piece of gear. You don't have to worry about someone stealing it. It's aluminum construction, so it's not going to fall apart on me. Now, 75% of that aluminum is actually recycled aluminum, which I think is incredible. The way that it's welded, and I don't speak welding, but for those of you that do, you would especially appreciate the construction of this. And as far as the design goes, it's really easy to strap things down because it's this piped aluminum. I've had some hitch baskets that have like that sort of chicken coop wired look to it. You know what I'm saying? They're a pain to attach things to, but because of the construction of the pack mule, it's super easy to strap up a cooler, strap down firewood, strap down anything. And that's really the sort of ethos and idea behind pack mule. Kansas, the guy who invented this, who created this, his whole thing was like, the easier that we make it for you to load and go, the more often you'll go. Pack Mule is just there to make the adventure easier for you, to give you that instant cargo space that can get dirty, that's durable, that's gonna last. And I love that about the company so much. I love that they're made in America. I love the durability of the product and the ease of use. Now I'm gonna quickly break down the different models that Pack Mule offers. So I have the Swayback, and the Swayback was actually originally designed for the Jeep. The reason being this lip is only a two and a half inch lip, which allows you to still open up the door on your Jeep. And in my case, my transit van, it allows me to open up the doors without having to remove that pack mule. The original has a higher lip. So that has a seven and a half inch lip. The Swayback and the original have 12 square feet of cargo capacity, which is mind blowing. They're enormous. You can fit so much stuff. They have another model called the Ridgeline and that was designed with UTVs in mind. It has about eight inches of additional ground clearance. It's not just for UTVs though. You can use that on any vehicle that you want some extra ground clearance. Pack Mule also offers a couple different accessory kits. They have rod holders. I have the porch accessory kit. So it gives me almost like a deck appearance where I can stand on this comfortably. And I didn't put all of the decking on yet. I'm experimenting with a couple different styles because you can choose how much or how little of the decking you want. They're shipped to you completely assembled, aside from the decking or accessories, but the pack mule itself is completely assembled. So 
It's a big box that's shipped to you. It's super convenient not having to try to put anything together. It's ready to rock right out of the package. I really love my pack mule. I've been so happy with the way that it functions and I'm excited to take it on more adventures this year. You'll see this in so many of my videos. It's a really important piece of equipment for my setup. And yeah, I'm excited to keep using it and share that with you guys. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.